Moin Moin, my name is Marvin Tummen and I welcome you to my IEEE ICASP 2021 presentation, which is titled Deep Multiframe and VDR Filtering for Single Microphone Speech Enhancement. This paper was authored by Simon Locro and myself, both from the Department of Medical Physics and Acoustics in Oldenburg, Germany. Please enjoy! So, let's first go through the outline of this talk. We will start with a problem statement that is single microphone speech enhancement. Instead of using a more traditional single frame masking approach, in this work we consider multi-frame approaches, and more in particular the multi-frame MVDR filter. To implement this filter, a number of parameters are required, namely the speech interframe correlation vector, as well as the noisy and interference covariance matrices. We propose to estimate these quantities using temporal convolutional networks by embedding the multi-frame MVDR filter within a deep learning framework. We will continue with the simulations that were performed to validate the performance of our proposed deep MF MVDR filter based on the deep noise suppression challenge dataset. The results show that our proposed deep multi-frame MVDR filter outperforms comparable masking approaches as well as the rather popular kind of testnet. And finally, after concluding the talk and a brief outlook, we'll provide links to audio demos and code. So let's start with a single microphone speech enhancement problem. Assume we are in a scenario with a single microphone capturing speech X as well as noise N resulting in our noisy signal Y. Many methods that aim at performing speech enhancement first transform the noisy signal into a domain that is better suited for the task, such as the short time Fourier transform domain, where they apply some filter and finally transform the signal back to the time domain, which can be used for whatever purpose, for example, automatic speech recognition or just listening. A multitude of single frame algorithms have been proposed that follow this scheme for example, that use a short time Fourier transform and apply a real valued mask or a complex valued mask to one frame of the noisy signal in order to estimate a speech component at exactly the same frame. In addition, multi frame algorithms have been proposed, which apply a filter to multiple frames of the noisy signal to obtain an estimate of the speech, uh, speech component at one frame. The multi-frame filter coefficients have been estimated, for example, using a deep learning based approach. However, here we focus on a hybrid approach in which we integrate the model based multi-frame multi MVDR filter within a deep learning framework. We continue with a few details on multi-frame approaches. The noisy multi-frame vector Y in the STFT domain at frame L can be written as the sum of the speech and noise components X and N. Here, the multi-frame vectors are defined as shown on the left, containing both the current as well as the n minus one previous frames. First, we assume that the speech and noise components are independent, such that we can write the noisy covariance matrix as the sum of the speech and noise covariance matrices. Second, we assume that the speech component can be decomposed into a correlated and an uncorrelated component, as shown here, where the speech interframe correlation vector gamma x in blue describes the correlation of the current and the current and previous speech coefficients. Note that it can also be written using the speech covariance matrix. Our third assumption is that we can treat both the noise n as well as the uncorrelated speech component x prime as an interference such that the noisy covariance matrix consists of a component that we want to keep and one that we want to reduce. Using this signal model, Wang and Benesty have proposed to formulate the optimization goal of minimizing the output interference power while preserving the correlated speech component. This problem is solved by the multi-frame MVDR filter. To implement this filter, we require the interference covariance matrix phi u, as well as the speech IFC vector gamma x, which may be highly time varying and thus difficult to estimate. So let's talk about how we estimate these parameters, starting with the speech IFC vector. Recalling its definition, 
we can see that this vector is highly time varying. And since it depends on the speech component, it may be difficult to estimate blindly that is from the noisy STFT coefficients. However, it can be rewritten as a linear combination of the noisy and interference interframe correlation vectors, gamma y and gamma u, which may be easier to estimate since the noisy signals are available anyway, and the interference component may be less time varying than the speech component. Here, the combination factors depend on the a priori as in our xi. Noting that similarly as before, this can be written using the covariance matrices, we obtain our speech IFC vector estimate as shown here, which itself requires estimates of the a priori SNR, as well as the noisy and interference covariance matrices. To explain our proposed estimation approach, let's go through a block diagram of it. As shown on the previous slide, we require estimates of the covariance matrices, as well as the a priori SNR. To obtain these estimates, we make use of a supervised learning approach. Blocks in this diagram contain a DNN, so the supervised learning part, while ellipses do not contain a DNN. First, to estimate the covariance matrices, we use separate DNNs whose inputs are the concatenated real and imaginary STFT components. A linear activation function is used since the covariance matrices have unbounded coefficients. And very importantly, the DNNs are trained using a speech enhancement loss not requiring a covariance matrix label. So let's talk a bit more about how we obtain covariance matrix estimates from the DNNs. Since the covariance matrices phi y and phi u are Hermitian positive semi-definite, they consist of n squared real valued independent coefficients, which can be stacked into vectors hy and hu. These coefficients are estimated using separate DNNs. And finally, Using these estimated coefficients, we construct Hermitian positive semi-definite matrices as shown here, where the matrix multiplication on the left ensures that the estimated covariance matrices are positive semi-definite and the Hermitian operator on the right constructs Hermitian matrices from their independent coefficients. Note that since the deep MF MVDR filter is embedded into the deep learning framework, we can train the DNNs using a speech enhancement loss function instead of specifying labels for the independent coefficients in H. Now that we have constructed our covariance matrix estimates from the DNN outputs, let's continue with the second parameter that is the a priori SNR. As inputs, we use the logarithm of the noisy STFT magnitude. To make sure that the a priori SNR estimates are positive, we make use of a soft plus activation function. Similar to the covariance matrices, the DNN is trained using a speech enhancement loss function, not using some predefined a priori SNR label. Using these estimates of the covariance matrices, as well as the a priori SNR, we can obtain our speech IFC vector estimate as shown here, followed by the MFMVDR filter coefficients, as well as finally the speech estimate, which goes directly into the loss function, which is used to update the parameters of the DNNs. Let's continue with the simulations, starting with the use data set. We make use of the official InterSpeech 2020 Deep Noise Suppression Challenge data set, which has been rather popular in speech enhancement literature. The training and validation set uses Anechoic clean speech from the LibriVox dataset and noise from the audio set free sound and demand databases. SNRs ranging from 0 to 20 dB were used, and in total, 50 hours of four second utterances were generated for training and validation. For testing, the official DNS test set was used, which is based on anechoic clean speech from the Graz University database and relevant noise from free sound mixed from 0 to 25 dB. Training, validation, and test sets were disjoint. We compare our proposed deep MFM VDR filter with a number of baseline algorithms. First, with a complex valued multi frame direct filtering algorithm, which is similar to our proposed deep MFM VDR filter, only that here the filter coefficients are estimated directly by a DNN. That is, the MFM VDR structure is not exploited. 
Second, with a complex valued single frame masking algorithm. Third, with a real valued single frame masking algorithm. And finally, with the rather popular ConfTestNet and its causal implementation using the official implementation provide by, uh, provided by the authors. All algorithms use the same architecture and a similar number of parameters as the proposed DeepMFMVDR filter. Continuing with the used non-DNN related settings, we make use of an STFT with short frames to increase speech correlations. A minimum gain of 970 dB is applied for all algorithms except for ConfTestNet. The multi-frame algorithms use five filter taps, which means a temporal context of 16 milliseconds can be exploited. And for the deep MFMVDR filter, diagonal loading is applied to covariance matrix estimates. Regarding the DNN-related settings, as architecture, we use temporal convolutional networks. Here, we fix the kernel size to three and use two stacks of Feuer layers each, and we varied the hidden dimension size to result in a total number of 5 million parameters for each algorithm, which is similar to ConfTestNet. The reason behind varying the hidden dimension size instead of the other hyperparameters was that we did not want to change the temporal receptive field between the algorithms, which might make the comparison unfair. We use the scale invariant signal to distortion ratio as the loss function for all compared algorithms. DNNs are trained with the ADAM optimizer for a maximum of 50 epochs, or if the ladation loss stops decreasing for 10 epochs. Also, gradient norms are clipped. Let's discuss the simulation results now. We compare the algorithms in terms of PESC and story improvement with respect to the noisy speech, where we use the clean speech as the reference signal. The figure on the right shows box plots of the PESC improvements with respect to the noisy signal for each algorithm. First of all, all compared algorithms yield a high PESC improvement, with the deep MFMVDR filter in purple yielding the highest PESC improvements. Comparing real and complex valued masking, that is blue and orange, a benefit of also improving the phase can be observed. Comparing complex valued masking and direct filtering, that is orange and green, it can be observed that just increasing the number of filter taps may not be beneficial. However, when guiding the DNN training by including the structure of the MFMVDR filter, that is going from green to purple, performance can be increased. In terms of STOI, all algorithms yield a moderate improvement. The trends are similar as before, except for Kanf Tasnet being on par with the deep MFMVDR filter, so red and purple, and generally with smaller differences between the algorithms. So in conclusion, we have proposed a DNN-based approach to estimate all parameters required by the multi-frame MVDR filter by minimizing a speech enhancement loss function. Simulation results on the DNS challenge dataset show the benefit of guiding the multi-frame filter estimation by using the structure of the MFMVDR filter. In future work, we want to investigate the potential of this filter and reverberant scenarios, and we want to explore further assumptions on the matrix structure. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you're interested, you can pause the video here and find links to some audio demos and the PyTorch implementation. These are the references and goodbye.